We have more stuff talking about the judge voiding Elon Musk's uh, Tesla pay package of $55 billion. Voided. Just like that. I didn't tune in yet. I did know about this pay package when it first came out some time ago uh, when it was brought up. And then there's a bunch of other news around this and whatnot. But what can you say? I mean, $55 billion is a lot. As you see, but I say that, but Alphabet on their own ad revenue was more than that in just one quarter. So what what is a crazy amount of money at these days? Like when you're comparing these companies to each other, what is a crazy amount of money? If they're all working in the billions of dollars every quarter, what would be a crazy number for to see for them being up top or making a crazy move or push and stuff? Let me know in the comments what you think that may be. But without further ado, before we dive into this episode, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, help out the algorithm and stuff. And let's just dive into this and figure out what they talking about for Elon because he might be going through it. A judge has voided Elon Musk's $55 billion Tesla pay package. We want to go now to Bloomberg Technology co-host Ed Ludlow in San Francisco. Ed, what else can you tell us? Well, in the first instance, Tesla shares are down significantly in the aftermarket, more than 2%. What shareholders alleged in their suit is that Tesla's board and its directors did not act with impartiality when setting the $55 billion uh, compensation, which is a, a, a historic record for any compensation package for a publicly traded CEO. Yeah. And the judge in this case, Kathleen St. Jude McCormick, is agreeing with that in the sense that investors had to go hunting to clarify whether or not there were conflicts of interest in the apportioning of that that reward and as you can see the market paying attention when Musk took the, the stand to basically defend his position in that compensation he said well I had nothing to do with it I don't set my own pay so how could there be any leverage that the board would put over me or me over the board uh, which is what the the conflict of interest in question uh, the concern was yeah. about mm. so how much how much we did this for all the other companies but we didn't do this for tesla let me just see this so yeah tesla's a little more than halfway there to all the other companies and things and they they do a lot of stuff with data as well too um So they use uh Tesla uses AWS. And this this is one of the reasons why I say Microsoft's not a, a top all the time. Like you have a half a trillion dollar company using AWS's cloud program. Like this is where all the money is coming from. Like companies like this and things like that. Uh, if you didn't check, because since I do break these episodes up, if you want to know what I'm talking about, check out the cloud information episode that I was just talking about because you're going to get way more details around what I'm talking about as far as like cloud storage and things like that. But if you're in this episode, you know what I'm talking about. If you just watch this episode straight, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know exactly what we're here for. It's to <laughs> talk about this Elon net mess. But they said, I guess they, I guess they were trying to say it's a conflict of interest from to try to get this pay package set up because, and he was like, Oh, I don't pay for my own I don't set my pay and things like that. It's kind of tragic. <laughs> it's crazy that it was struck down by a Delaware judge because a shareholder said that it was excessive. So $55 billion does seem like it is excessive for sure. Um, I would believe i would need to know more about what this pay package was being used for so i can make more informative decision we're gonna see we're gonna find out together don't fake nothing around here don't fake nothing
YouTube doesn't have it, look it up on Google. What was the pay package? All right. Toss that out. Blah, blah, blah. Open a new conversation granted by the EV. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> this is just. Uh, yeah, I'm continuing without that. So. It might have been excessive. I can kind of see how this may be excessive. Um, this is just from one of the quick articles that I found around the pay package. It's just basically his 2018 compensation package. Uh, and that's how much he was supposed to get paid. And it was based on giving him like 12% the stake of the automaker so, and how much they made and 1% of their outstanding shares. So that's how much that he would receive since he doesn't get paid a salary. I feel like I feel like I have to know how much like all right, let's see something. Uh what is Mark Zuckerberg? Okay, yeah. So apparently him not getting paid a salary is a common thing. I looked up Mark Zuckerberg and they said that he gets but here's here's the difference. Here's the difference. So uh, let's show let's show the news. Let's show this real quick. So he gets paid a salary of a dollar a year. That's his salary. One dollar. Elon Musk doesn't get paid a salary at all. But he made it to where he could get certain percentages of everything to make a certain amount of money. In 2021, he received $27 million. That was his pay in 2021. That was his compensation for however it was. he was meant to be paid for being a shareholder of his company. And that's how much he received as, as far as being that. And Meta... And Meta's worth 1.2 trillion. So what Meta's worth double what Tesla is worth, and Mark Zuckerberg is getting paid $27 million. Now I can see why he wasn't gonna get paid $55 billion and why he threw it, they threw it out and said it was excessive. Now I can see why the shareholder was like, ah nah, you don't need this. You don't need that. Because if you look at it there, here, another company that is thriving way better than your company right now, their owner, founder, only gets paid $27 million, and you think you're going to get paid $55 billion? $55 billion. That is wild. That is nuts. I can't believe it at all. Um, it's almost highway robbery. Like, that is wild. That is so crazy, yo, that he was trying to get paid that much. That I, and, and one of his shareholders blew the whistle on him and said, yeah, you don't need this, man. You got other companies that's paying you. Because he got he has SpaceX. He has um, Twitter. Twitter's a mess, though. Twitter's a mess. Uh, he calls it X now. But... That's that is wild. That is fully wild. I, I can see why they've thrown that out now. I can see why they've thrown that out. All right, now we have. And if you guys like the whole let's look up stuff and learn stuff together, get further information on stuff, let me know because I'm I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I, I want to be more knowledgeable. I want to be able to dig deeper into what these news reporters are saying. And 